The artificial stomach, or Evitus, is an innovation of Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada's Food Research and Development Centre in St. Hyacinth. It allows researchers and the food processing industry to better predict what really happens in the human body when introducing bioactive foods. It is largely a mastication system that is used to form a food bolus whose texture and composition is designed to replicate the human food bolus as closely as possible. Saliva is produced with the required composition and quantity corresponding to each bite and gulp, contrary to other systems where the composition is consistent. Our system also produces different digestive solutions based on the type of eater and the composition of each element of the meal. The system therefore analyzes the stability of bioactive ingredients during digestion. All this is to understand the changes in the various food matrices. Now, we might ask why we need such a system. The food industry is currently developing so-called functional foods fortified with bioactives. The exercise of developing functional foods presents both a scientific challenge and an interesting avenue for the future. But we need trials before we can move on to clinical studies. The artificial stomach is the technology that facilitates these trials. Our researchers use it in a number of research projects, in particular to improve the survival of probiotics in ferments and consumer products. Probiotic bacteria are living organisms. Our challenge, therefore, is to keep these bacteria alive. We have developed microencapsulation techniques, such as gel beads or systems that specifically coat cultures. And with these microencapsulation techniques, we can separate the bacteria from the food matrix and sometimes increase their survival. This tool should be seen as an intermediate step that simplifies human study, which is much more expensive. Let's take the yogurt production industry. If the industry decides to add new bacteria strains to its recipes, the first question to ask is, what will be the concentration of bacteria? What will be the proportion of each bacterion? In what matrix do we want them? Do we want them in spoonable yogurt, such as Greek yogurt, or in lighter yogurt, such as drinkable yogurt? This makes a lot of conditions to test, and to simplify what we can do, we can conduct tests using in vitro conditions. We will start by testing these hundreds of conditions and then narrow it down to a few of the best conditions, which we can then test on humans. Before its creation, no one could say for sure that probiotics survived the conditions present in the stomach. The artificial stomach has confirmed a host of positive responses. This technology opens the door to a wide range of possibilities, making functional foods increasingly accessible to consumers.